hello lovelies if you are new here welcome to my channel if you have been here before welcome back and thank you for supporting me um as you can see this is another video in the on the floor with the mess and this is because i would like to show you what i'm gonna be packing for our upcoming trip we're flying tonight actually to south korea it's a winter slash snow skiing vacation and i'm not used to it this is the first time i will go for a ski vacation so i got like a bunch of uh, winter clothes with me and uh, we'll see how it goes i live in the middle east like the coldest days are around 15 to like that's the coldest coldest day 15 degrees which is like happens i don't know once every blue moon so um yeah let's start let's get started because i'm really in a rush and i really have to pack so we can send the suitcases to the airport uh this afternoon so i'm gonna start i'm not gonna show you the bits and pieces the boring bits and pieces i'm just gonna show you the fashion stuff and hopefully i'll be able to um uh, film outfits of the day when I'm in uh, Korea and document them and see if they were um, handy if they were like comfortable if they worked or not so um, hopefully we are going to meet my parents-in-law but we don't have any help any other help with us so let's see how things go <sighs> Okay, the first thing I'm going to take, I'm going to take this DVF dress and I actually debated whether I should take it with me or not because it's, it's wool material but it's all open all over. So I tried it earlier and I thought maybe that will be cool for a date night instead of taking my silk Zimmerman dress which is going to be like cold and I have to put a lot of layer underneath it. I thought I'll take this one with me so i'm gonna pack it now i'm gonna arrange this afterward properly but um yeah and i'm taking these ted baker dresses i have them in two colors so i have this oatmeal color which is like really nice and i have i'm packing both of them And I have this uh, charcoal gray, which is normally not my, the color I would go to, uh, the color I would go for, but it really looks very nice. So I'm going to pack it as well. I got these two dresses last year when I was traveling to Morocco around the November time and it was very cold in there. And it turns out that I didn't wear them. I think I wore them wore one of them once here and I was so hot like we went to uh, lunch and then I had to come home I was close by so I had to come home in the middle of the lunch to change it because it was like really hot these are really not dresses for here okay so these two I'm taking this um, new uh, set it's really cool but it's the pants are really long so i'm hoping we're staying near to uh, a shopping mall so i'm hoping i will be able to find find a tailor to um for adjust this there uh hopefully uh where is the i need to remove this before i pack them because it's always This is actually really cool and compared to the other uh, uh, outfit that I'm packing these I actually could wear here every now and then oh, it's made in Romania one of my very very good friends are in Romania they're actually right now on a ski trip but um, somewhere in Europe
Okay, with all these wool things, like I probably have no space. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's get this sorted. I am also taking this uh, Nadam outfit. I have it in the uh, oatmeal kind of beige color. It's coming with me as well. I really hate feeling cold. Okay, so these are the outfits. I'm gonna take, uh, hold on. as well so it's exactly the same thing this is new i haven't worn before and this is worn i need to shave it a little bit but that's okay i got to the machine finally from amazon to shave it but i haven't tried it yet it's like do it when i need to wear it okay for the coat i'm definitely taking this coat with me but I'm not sure if we're gonna uh, if I should take another coat or this one will do all the time it's, it's quite heavy as well yeah it's quite heavy as well so this is leather with thermal uh, technology in it so uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I should, because if I'm taking another coat with me, then um, I'll pack this one in the big suitcase and I'll pack this, the other one in the small suitcase. I'll have to discuss that with my husband because he's better. Uh, he has more experience in uh, being in the cold weather. So I'll just double check with him for later, uh, later on. Okay, and obviously some hair. I think these ones I'm gonna pack on the small luggage so when we arrive there we'll have um, I'll have them to use okay and all these I have here some of the taking this um, thermal tight and thermal socks and I'm taking these um, thermal leggings And these cashmere socks. Hopefully they will be soft because... Ah, yeah, they're very soft from inside. Okay, cool, I think. Now I'm just gonna pack some thermals and some like underneath stuff that I can wear. And I have these singlets and I have, I put some of the thermals that I got from Marks and Spencers. I think Marks and Spencers do the best thermals when it comes to quality pricing things. I'm taking these, but I'm going to put them in the uh, carry-on luggage. And let me just remove all the tags. They're waterproof, which is good. 
very snugly from inside. Yeah. Taking this, my moon boots, and my Jimmy shoe boots for like more of a city vibe. And I'm taking my sneakers, my visual sneakers as well. So these are the stuff that I'm taking for the shoes. For the bags, I'm gonna go with this. I need something indestructible. So, uh -oh. Hence why I, I chose to go with this one and it's white. So it's gonna go with more or less everything. The only thing I'm debating whether I take something for the evening or just like use this for everything evening and because like i use it for the evening it's not like uh it's a day bag it's a day to night bag so and it fits quite a bit so i just need to see if uh, oh look i found my um what do you call that oh god i can't even think uh Blush. I found my blush. I was thinking uh, I, was th I had the word in French, farajou, but I totally forgot it. Like I got blocked when it comes to thinking of it in English. Anyway, so um, I think I'm gonna stick to this bag. I'll, I'll pack and see how much space I still have to decide if I want to take another bag as like an evening bag or I'm just gonna stick with this because this is nice and it can do everything I'm trying to minimize as much stuff as I take in as much stuff as I can because I have like a lot of the, the stuff I'm packing it's heavy it's winter so let's see okay uh, I'm just gonna put you on a lapse time right now and I'll start organizing things again it's a few hours later you could see i put my hair up because i was like really hot and yeah i finished packing at least one suitcase to one that it's gonna go in the cargo put everything i didn't want to bore you with all the other details because i had to take stuff from here put it in my husband's suitcase we and then like vice versa i got my son's boots here we changed few things but yeah I think this is sorted we will have one cabin luggage that should be relatively empty oh no I forgot to put my hair dryer the problem is like most of the hotels they don't really have the diffuser so I have to carry a hair dryer with me so yeah I need to find space for the hair dryer <laughs> I'll probably just be able to squeeze it somewhere here it was quite small, so I'm hoping that it will be fine. Just put somewhere here. Okay, cool. And this is. Oh, that should be fine then. Okay, cool. I think this suitcase is ready to be closed. And then the rest will. I might have to carry the coat in my hand. Oh God, I totally forgot about the coat. So I can just put it here, on top here, and then open the suitcase. Open. 
<laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. And it is the only coat I'm taking. But, oh, what is that? Because we are going to take only one cabin luggage, then I'm gonna be, I won't have space for it. If we had two cabin luggage, that would have been fine. Just do this and see. What an interesting uh, <laughs> scheme. Wow. So what are we going to do here? The pink suitcase was closed and my husband took it downstairs already. Now I just want to do the bits, the last bits and pieces. I need to pack some jewelry. So I'm like, this is my big jewelry box. Uh, I think I'm going to keep these blue ones because I have a lot of blues and pinks in the thing. And the question is whether... I'll probably take this one with me and I'll just take it wearing it with the pearls. That, should, that probably should be fine, right? And then my rings. Yeah, so. What do you think, guys? I think like with all these like chunky stuff, I have, I don't really wear, um, turtleneck I don't have anything turtleneck uh, in the suitcase so um, I'm just thinking this will be nice because most of the stuff that I have is like round crew neck kind of thing and then if I'm wearing something bulky this one is long enough to be on top of it and I think that's it maybe I'll, I'll take the pearls earrings just in case I want to change but yeah, I should be fine. I don't need any of the, the other stuff. Yeah. I'll take the, uh, this the Cartier opener just in case. Put it here. Okay, I think this is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I, I do apologize for the, for the lighting today. There is no sun. I don't know what's happening. I think it's even raining outside today. So, um, yeah, uh, like my ring light is okay, but it doesn't really work that much when I have these lights on and these are horrible lights. So I apologize for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do definitely a, a what I wore video in uh, Korea because it's like I just find it interesting to see what works, what didn't work, etc. And it might be e either like a long video like this one or on a short format. I, I don't know, I still haven't decided, but stay tuned for that. Anyhow, if you like this kind of videos, I leave you with another one like it's back with me in Egypt for when I went to Cairo and I still have the vlog um, on the pipe for that trip so hopefully I'll be able to get it up and running sometimes next week. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in my next video.